I want to talk a little bit about um, the fasteners that come in a um, Hutzel Farmer Tech MS440 bill kit. And in general, these these type fasteners are used um, in you know still uses them to build a chainsaw, and their their attributes are specific so that you know the chainsaw is uh, safe and doesn't come apart on you. So, uh, you know, putting the right screw in the right place is, um, is really important. Um, there, there are, uh, like, uh, four, um, or five different different types. Um, there's the machine thread, the uh, DG or the D type, P type is in Paul, and B is in boy. Um, now. Uh, let's go with the P-type. I have one of those packs here, and I believe it's already open. All I have to do is find it. Oops. There it is. Okay, so this is a plastiform screw, and uh, it does not have uh, any any bindings under the head. I'll show you those in a minute. Serrations. Um, wh what it does is um, they give you on the plastic. They give you a, um, a specific size diameter hole. That this goes in, and uh, it, it cuts its own threads, displaces the material. Um, after it cuts, it it makes the threads harder, so that you can um, uh, re you know screw it in and remove it as many times as you need to. Um, these do not come with um, any micro encapsulation. That's not needed. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, these are all T27 with the exception of uh, just a few. There's a, there is a, uh, uh, a hex head on one or two and uh, a pan head, uh, which uses a flat head on, on one or two. Uh, but, you know, out of all of them, I mean, it's like 99%. Uh, so that's a, that's a large portion there. And um, now, we need another example here. And I believe I can just make that happen quicker this way. I need a big binding head. Yeah. OK. Um, these are the you're going to use. The, um, these are going to be the most often used um, screws in there, and um, they're called binding heads. And why that's the fact is that there's some serrations there, and that acts as a lock washer because the chainsaw has a lot of vibration. Now. Um, I just noticed that uh, maybe as much as uh, half of my screws do not have that. They're supposed to. Um, so I'm making you aware of it to look for it because that's an important feature of the screw. And it's there for a reason. Um, now, uh, this blue, 
That's called microencapsulation, and that's where they put the Loctite, where it's pre-treated for you. Um, this screw was um, bought um, separately, didn't come in a kit, so I've got to, you know, pre-treat that one. But I want you to see the difference. That is a really important aspect of them. Um, if they're you know, there's different size nuts. There's several nuts. This one um, comes with a, a nylon insert. Uh, the nut that goes on the clutch doesn't have anything like a nylon insert on it. So, uh, get these out of the way so I can. And keep on showing you um, something that you need to be aware of um, that I thought was uh, special the bar nuts um, are fasteners and the ones that come with um, the kit the current kit um, are the old style now they have um, included a clutch cover that is designed for the new style. Although these will drop right down in there and work. Um, but I wanted you to see now this is this is a, a, a half of a crankcase off of MS660. Uh, and I'm, the only reason I'm showing you this is because we're talking about a MS440, but I wanted to show you these uh, these bar nuts. Um, this the clutch cover that comes with the 440 is designed for these nuts. These are uh, collar. These are the newer ones. So you know you can see the um, the difference there. Okay. They work, but I want you to see the difference. Okay, so um, just in general, uh, we've got uh, in in these kits. You'll find um, these occasionally. Uh, it's just like a sheet metal screw, and uh, this one actually holes the um, on an MS660 I'm just showing you the different types um, and, and uh, there's one right there but it's already in there and that's what's in there and that holds that black onto the top of the handle That's known as a B type. So the ones that go in the plastic um, are known as P, and then you've got your uh, machine machine thread and the uh, DG or D, and those are those like P and so forth are what you would find in a technical manual if you were looking in a service book or an IPL, which is the illustrated parts list. So knowing those terms is. Uh, you know, it won't confuse you when you see it. You go, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I know what they're talking about. Um, and there, there's uh, uh, something on on both fasteners, on the the P fastener, which is for the plastic, and this, uh, which of course is for the metal. Um, when when you uh, start this screw, uh, the way they want you to do it is to always rotate it backwards. Until you feel it drop down in the in the hole, and then um, turn it clockwise and, and tighten it down. Now that's true whether you're putting it in metal or you are using it in the plastic. That's an important technique. Keep you from messing stuff up. We don't want to do that, do we? We want to have fun with our saw. Okay, um, so that's the basic overview of the fastener system 
on uh, on our, our chainsaws. Okay, thanks.